today is a different kind of video where I will be reviewing a car. And I have a special guest. Do you want to see what Welcome. we Welcome. Hey. Your belt on. Oh, geez, I do. So I'm going to start by talking about what this car is like to drive. It oh, is. Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just literally came shooting out there, didn't she? Oh, good. You have your indicator on. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, look at the way they're parking. Oh, ah. brilliant. Even better. Ian and I like to commentate on people's driving. Because it's bad. You should know. Um, so basically, very comfortable to drive, very easy to drive. I've always found Volkswagens very easy to drive, though. Like, drive my dad's Passat, his Passat. I had a Golf for a while before. I just find they're really solid, easy cars to drive. So, yes, there's that. And then... I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty daunted at the start because it's like, it's a big car, it's a big car. And I wasn't sure like, Jesus, this is gonna be too big for me, but actually, the car kind of drives itself, so it's a-okay. Size, good. Very comfortable. It has loads of stuff, cup haulers, so many activities. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many activities because in my car, I love my little car and like, it's been so good to me over the years but there's no space to put things and no space to do things and no space to put people and all that stuff. So yeah, this is a this is a welcome luxury. When it comes to speed, I would say this car isn't the fastest car I've ever driven, but it's not slow by any means. Sorry, I just need to get a cashew. Continue. It's not slow by any means, but it's definitely not the fastest car I've ever driven. This car is definitely more for style and comfort than for speed and, what's the word, uh, performance. So there's that. And um, when it comes to all the techie side of things, I'm not great at that sort of stuff. Um, there's lots of things this car can do. It can use your, you can use your apps on your phone through the touchscreen that uh, dash screen here. Um, I didn't figure out how to do that. Ian figured out how to do that. There's heated steering wheel, heated seats. There's Bluetooth connect, which I don't have in my car, which I know a lot of people probably do at this point, but I don't, and it's, it's uh, really handy. There's USB device connection things, and... SD card, CD player, you name it, it's got it. Um, when you're driving, it's got cruise control, which is grand but you can also set it so that if you come within X amount of meters of the car in front, it will automatically brake for you. That is so cool! And then when the car moves out of the way, it will bring you back up to the speed that you'd set the cruise control to. It's so handy. Fuel consumption from what I've seen has been really good. I put in half a tank there the other day and that got us from Dublin to Limerick and back and a few run around trips as well. So that's pretty good going. Uh, there's six speeds in this, which took a little bit of getting used to, I'm not going to lie, because I'm used to five speeds and when I'm in fifth gear, I think I'm in top gear, but I'm actually not. <laughs> I smell like America. Why? I don't know. Got a smell of America there. Okay. A velocitor. A velocitor. So, really comfortable to drive, really like it. Ian didn't have a chance to drive it now, but he's pretty impressed. And now he's kind of telling me I should buy one. This engine is 1.6. The road tax on it is 105 euro for the year. So insurance wise, it'll be actually really good because it's a 1.6 and the emissions on it are pretty good as well so that's why it's 105 euro to road tax it for the year there are sensors all around the car so if you if something gets too close to you or you get too close to something anywhere around the car it will let you know by screaming at you which it has done on a couple of occasions so that's basically it isn't it yep yeah it's got everything it's a lot of technology switch it's the screen everything. does touch screen and you can switch things over to the driver and you've got like all the things Mirrors tuck in, keyless entry. You know entry. everyone says you sound like Chris O'Dowd and I can actually hear it sometimes. Hello. Yeah. Alright. Um, Not as famous as Chris O'Dowd. Not quite as famous, but you're getting there. So yeah, I really like the car. Volkswagen did provide the car to me for me to use and have fun with. I'm under no obligation to post a review. I'm under no obligation to say anything nice about it. Uh, I was just told to have fun, which I definitely have done. So yeah, thumbs up. I would buy one. I definitely would. And if you're in the market for one, Take a Passat for a test drive and see how you find it because I think you'll be pretty impressed. Now before I cut the bloopers, I would just like to say a sincere thank you, massive thank you to Volkswagen for this opportunity. I really enjoyed it. I was really privileged to have this opportunity because 
these sorts of things don't usually happen to me so I was absolutely chuffed if you enjoyed this drive along with Ian and I hit the thumbs up button and we will be sure to do more of them maybe not review videos but just chit chat videos with us thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the, the bloopers and I will talk to you in my next video bye what do you want to say say hi Dean hi Dean what <laughs> I call him Dean. Ready, Dean? Oh. Let's go. Seatbelt. <laughs> it's absolutely pissing rain in Ireland today. Size matters. It is huge. The seats clip down really easily. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear the audio with the sound of this. If that fella walked any harder, he'd fall over. He was. Okay. Go ahead. She's an Australian exit. Electra Humperdinck. Okay. It says. Send Electra Humperdinck. Ready to send it? He's a sweaty bum! Ooh, mind the road, no, just mind the... No, cancel, cancel, cancel. Thank you. Okay, I won't send it just yet. Oh. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Oh, I'll never be ready. Cancel everything. Thank you. Cancel, please. Thank you. Just let me on it. She just can't understand your horrific accent. Whoa!